Earlier this year, the Prime Minister said, I quote, we need to get our resources to new markets safely and securely, and that is why I have always advocated for Keystone XL pipeline, end quote. As the Prime Minister knows, Keystone XL would be a huge advantage to Indigenous communities. It would generate prosperity in our country by developing energy in an environmentally friendly capacity, and it would create jobs during a time when unemployment is through the roof. My question is very simple. Can the Prime Minister simply outline three very tangible steps that he will take in the next little while to get this project done? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, we have supported this project, as the Prime Minister has said, unwaveringly. We have always supported this project for many of the reasons that the Honourable Member cites. One of the strongest arguments for this project is that we have a government that is fighting climate change, that is putting a price on pollution, that is committed to net zero emissions by 2050, and that is making investments to help our energy sector become more sustainable than ever. That is the record we will be able to present to our partners in the U.S.